Yo, what's going on guys? It's Brev. We're back with another MLB The Show 20 card review. This one's on 97 overall. Jason Kendall, Stage 3 Team Affinity Reward for the Pittsburgh Pirates. This card surprised me. He was better than I was expecting him to be, but I will say off the rip for this video that I don't think he's one of the top tier uh, catcher options in the game right now. Very good card though, very good option, solid option, especially for the price at a shallow position, um, but not one of the best in the game. So I would start off talking about defense. That is the main flaw with this card. 70 arm strength is a problem behind the plate. When you have Jason Kendall behind the plate, people will run on you. You will have a hard time throwing people out. I can't tell you how many perfect throws from the catcher I made with this card that and the opponent was still just safe even on slide steps. Um, so that's mainly my biggest knock against this card is his inability to throw anybody out stealing. Um, his blocking rating is actually his highest defensive attribute and it shows he does good behind the plate as far as blocking balls in the dirt. Um, but you're going to give up stolen bases with this guy behind the plate. He's a bit of a liability defensively in that manner. but. Talking about the positives, uh, this card hit much better than I was expecting him to hit. Uh, despite the high contact, I didn't have much success with Jason Kendall last year. Um, and his swing this year is very quick. I don't remember his swing being as quick last year, although I probably didn't log as many reps with him last year. Uh, but very quick swing, ability to hit home runs on early swings, which is always a good thing when your swing is quick, because uh, you're going to be accidentally early a lot. Um, and 75 speed for a catcher is really fast. Uh, helps him out on the base pass. You're not clogging up the bases uh, with your catcher position. So overall, very good offensively. Not really much of a contact hitter either. Hit a lot of extra base hits or, or outs pretty much. Let's take a look at the stats that we got with him. Oh, I was already looking below. Um, almost 200 plate appearances. This is a lot of events and some ranked seasons. Uh, but I'm working on his prestige because there's not a lot of catchers to work on anyway. But you can see 387 average, 1300 OPS. So these are numbers not to scoff at at all. <laughs> 1300 OPS from your catcher is really good, uh, especially with all these at bats being on Hall of Fame. You can also see 36 of 67 hits were for extra bases. So that's over half of his hits were for extra bases, which is pretty cool considering this is supposed to be a contact hitter. Um, but he did hit for some power also four-fifths of his at bats pretty much maybe more than that against right-handed pitching um, And here's the splits. I got 408 versus righties 290 versus lefties uh, The low average versus lefties. I'm sure is a product of me pressing also not facing lefties much uh, only 31 at bats A um, Little bit better attributes versus lefties, but not a lot But yeah, that's how I did with him almost hit 400 I usually expect my guys to hit around 350 when I use them on Hall of Fame, so a little bit better than average and a good OPS so really good offensive catcher if you're looking for a mix-up at that position definitely a good option um, and if you're very offensive minded and you don't care about defense at all this is maybe a top tier option for you at catcher uh, just me personally I need a guy behind the plate that can throw people out and that's the biggest knock against this card uh, but I will still be using him a lot once again said I'm trying to prestige him so we'll see how he does but overall very pleased with this card because I was expecting this card to be booty cheeks so uh, he was not that, or he was the good kind of that. I don't know where this joke is going. I'm going to wrap up the video. <laughs> As always, we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta. Um, I'll give him an A-. minus. Like I said, good catcher, very good catcher, just not top tier in my opinion. Uh, and for the price, I'll give him an A, maybe even an A+, because I think he's selling for about 25 k right now. Um, which is pretty cheap for a shallow position, as I said. One thing I'll mention before I sign off as well, you can play him in the outfield with gold defense. His fielding drops to 70. Probably not a good idea with how deep outfield is, and he probably won't play the best defensively out there, but always an option for you there with the secondary position. So hope you guys enjoyed the review. Drop a comment down below if you want me to review anyone specifically. Uh, drop a like on the video too. Helps me out a ton. Thanks for your support this year, guys. Much love. See you in the next one. Peace. Kindle? Oh, he's just got a noodle. <laughs> Jason Kindle in the gap. I'm running all day. He ain't catching that. Look at these reads. I'm actually the best. Yeah, nice Blake Snell, dude. I'm glad we sweated to bring in our second starter in the third inning for that. Get yourself an ED. Kendall just hit an oppo dinger off Kluber. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, Kindle's been kind of raking. He's been a little bit raking, chat. I love it, Jamie. I love it. What up, Tigroso? How you doing, bro? What's good? What's happening? Waited on that cutter. Oh, it's down. All right. Big pinch hit here, dude. I'm going to burn two bench bats just to make sure I uh, get the hand in this here. Yo, imagine Kindle ties this up. Yo, imagine Kindle ties this up, chat. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> the East Coast. That's what I heard. I don't know if I got all that. Looks robbable, I guess. Nice, dude. What is Jason Kendall? Kendall? <laughs> Kendall just only hits for extra bases. What the fuck? 